came at Governor Romney's taxes and only yeah. disclosing a, a couple of years of his taxes. Let's listen to what the president said during the press conference on that front. The American people have assumed that if you want to be president of the United States, that your life's an open book. Uh, when it comes to things like your finances, this isn't sort of overly personal here, guys. This is pretty standard stuff. Uh, I, I don't think we're being mean. So over the years, of course, various presidential candidates have, have released differing numbers in differing years of, of tax returns. John McCain released two. Others have released six or more. Steve Forbes famously in 1996 said, forget it. I'm not giving you anything. Well, but, but why, Charles, does the president seem to think that the issue here in this campaign are Governor Romney's tax returns as opposed to some of the other big issues that people really want to hear some plans about? Because if it's on the big issues, he loses. If it's on the big things he did, the stimulus, Obamacare, cap and trade, which he attempted and failed, uh, all these regulations, the moratorium on drilling, Keystone Pipeline, you go down there, he doesn't even want to talk about any of them because he loses on those. His only hope in the campaign is what a memo that was uh, leaked in August of last year was headlined, Kill Romney. That's all he's got. The irony is that that clip you showed about him answering the question about the tax returns was in response to a question of how come you're so negative. <laughs> uh, I'm not negative, I'm just attacking him on tax returns. And then he went on and we didn't have that clip, but he said, you know, and most Americans don't have a Swiss bank account. That's complete innuendo. Mm -hmm. You know, you say the word, you implied a lot, and then you move on in answering a question in which you are denying that you're going negative. I mean, it's almost comical. Uh, and then he was asked about the ad where the woman, you know, accusing mm -hmm, mm -hmm. essentially Romney of killing him. He said, no, I don't actually think he's responsible for her death. Well, there's a concession for you. She died six years after, uh, you know, he left the Bain. Uh, um, she had health insurance even after her husband lost it, all these issues. It's a ridiculous ad, and the great concession he makes is meaningless. What he didn't do is disavow it or attack the ad or at least distance himself. So I think he showed in the press conference, we talked about, had nothing to say on Syria or Afghanistan, absolutely nothing, that he doesn't have a lot.